Hey, it's Margie with the Asking Spot, and this time I'm asking, why did I buy this? Yeah, this little table. Why? Um, I went looking for a bookshelf. You don't know what that is, do you? And yeah, that's what I came home with. All right, I'd like to say, oh, but I got a great deal on it. Uh, listen, this is something that if it was out in somebody's trash, I'd only pick it up because I didn't want it to go to a landfill not because I thought it was cool. So yeah, it says it's $12.99. I know I didn't pay full price for it, but uh, He's so ugly. just to be kind to myself, let's say I got it for half off. What a rip um, off. So <laughs> I'm gonna at least have fun with it. I'm gonna try out a technique I've never done before. It's the one where you use, um, you create like a herringbone or a parquet flooring look using some tongue depressors or popsicle sticks on the top. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm also going to do one of my favorite techniques is the decoupage underneath and see what happens. First things first, even though this is, um, you know, one of those particle board artificial top things, you still almost treat it like it's wood. So I'm going to clean it. Then I'm going to sand it just about 150 grit. That's just a scuff sand. So it'll have some teeth and it'll hear whatever I want to put on it. So these guys have to have their little curved edge trimmed off and you don't have to spend too much time worrying about it because in the end, there's gonna be some wood filler happening. Uh, tools to use. If this is what you have, this is what you go with. It's, it does the job, takes a little longer. If you're like myself and you happen to have a gardener in the house, ooh, pruning shears much better. I was surprised how long it took me to find the center of this table. Um, but the point of it is, is to give yourself a line that will be your guide down the center of the piece. One test run. Let's do this. All right, it's been a day. Let's take this off. I swear, when I've seen other people do this, I don't see as much buckling. And I put weights on this. And the weird thing is, is these guys look great. And this is where I actually had the concentration of weight and pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wood filler on and again, put weight on it and hopefully make it great. I'm just really thankful I don't like this table that much. Oh, before I do the wood filler though, I'm gonna try and trim off, like I did here, some of the excess, just to make the whole thing a little more manageable. Snip, snip. I got the edges trimmed off and uh, I'm gonna put some wood fill on. I'm not really thrilled though with the amount of waste this created, cause I mean, yeah, I might come up with a cute little 
project to do with them or maybe I'll put them in our mulch or just put them in the recycling bin but something about it just I don't know I'm not feeling very hopeful on this project let's just put it that way can I just say that there is sort of a grit to this that makes me go oh I get ASMR Whoops. Now, with every piece I've ever done, I've always had that moment where I'm kind of like, I'm not so sure this is going to work, but I'm going to keep pressing on. Some more than others. But in this case, none more than this one just not feeling very confident in this but I will keep pressing on because if nothing else it serves as a don't do what I did video I should be able to patch it up original plan, I was going to just sand it up, put some Danish oil, call the top a day, just let it be its natural self. However, while the wood fill did a great job filling, unfortunately it also left a good deal of staining behind. So I don't really like that orange color. I'm going to go ahead and give it a whitewash. This whitewash treatment couldn't be simpler. All I'm doing is watering down some chalk paint and putting it on and then kind of wiping it off rather quickly so it's not leaving too much pigment behind. pausing painting long enough to go take care of some unruly dogs, um, I came back and realized, you know, this wasn't cutting it. So I switched to a sponge brush. Now, both of these paint brushes I got in mass quantities when I popped into an estate sale. They were out there in the garage. And now granted, yeah, this turned out to be a useless burn, but this was super great. I mean, I finished the whole thing in no time. And I think I paid $1.50 for like this big box of paintbrushes. It's worth checking out estate sales, especially their garages. So the introduction of the white paint seems to have taken out some of the fill. So I'm gonna try this as my solution. Considering I've done decoupage a few times before, I should know how to do this properly. Um, yeah, my, put on your decoupage medium. Mine's at this point using a Mod Podge, but like I've always said, polycrylic or watered down school glue would work as well. That's all fine. It's the size of the tissue paper that I'm applying. That's the problem. We'll get into that more later. Well, made a bit of a mistake here. See on this one, it looks great. This one, not so much. It's because I did not apply enough of the base primer coat. So uh, luckily I do do this in an inconspicuous spot. So not a problem, fix it up, learn my lesson, and I will go back through and make sure that everywhere else has a nice sound base coat before I apply the decoupage.
point of putting on the paper, but it, it's not actually touching any of the tissue on this. Let's take a look back at where we started. Now granted, anything I would do to this table, it was still an improvement. So I'm happy there. And oh, by the way, if you could, please click subscribe. If you're already subscribed, uh, thumbs up would also really help out the channel. And I thank you so much. Um, I hope if you do leave a comment, it's bearing in mind that I know I've made mistakes. <laughs> okay, so here's the finished piece. Now, as far as the tabletop itself, you know, it looks fine. Um, I don't hate it. I think this technique, if I'm going to stick with popsicle sticks, would have been better if I had done it on a drawer front to something, not a tabletop. So that's what I mean by I just put it in the wrong place. I have seen some people on YouTube do it where they use um, paint sticks. And that to me makes a lot more sense because I'm in a humid climate, any moisture around it, you know, it's going to buckle, the glue buckle, even though I missed it on top and tried to press some weight to counteract that buckle, it still happened. Um, so yeah, maybe some paint sticks might work, but um, otherwise, if you just want to do it on a drawer front, that's great. As for the tissue paper, <laughs> okay. I wanted to keep the pattern that was there in its entirety. It doesn't work with tissue paper. I have done it with origami paper. I'll do one of these and put a link in the description below. And that you can use a larger piece and you can keep its pattern pretty well. Of course, origami paper is usually not come that big. Um, but yeah, this one, yeah, I just needed to do like I did on the stool. Just tear it apart, put little pieces down, manageable, controlled pieces. Because this way, no. Now, because this is just a little cheapy table I bought, and uh, one of my kids kind of liked its appearance. Not good. And I can't sell it? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and keep it in its really bumpy form, because from a distance and in the right lighting, it looks fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right. I think I've got some bloopers next if this whole thing wasn't considered just a giant blooper. Um, I thank you so, so, so much for watching The Asking Spot and subscribing. I'm halfway to a thousand. I'm really pumped. I hope it keeps going. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and um, see you next project. Parquet flooring. Stocking. <laughs> um, do I love it? No but I'm not hating it as much as I was. So there's that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it also kind of stained it. So I'm gonna give it a whitewash. So a little bit of my Wisconsinite in there. Sparkling cheese head. Wisconsin's finest bubbly. Well, after pausing filming and painting just Blah, blah.